What dimension are you even in? My dad uh, was old enough and lucky enough to have watched the original series when it aired. And I grew up watching the reruns with my dad. It was always a special time, and they would do these marathon Twilight Zones here in Los Angeles um, on TV. And we would sit there and we'd watch all day long every episode. And you know, he had his own personal memories of him, and uh, I created my own personal memories. And always loved them, and they were really seminal for me in terms of inspiring the kind of work that I wanted to do, genre work, and genre work with this different theme sort of woven into it that's, that's not just the story. Uh, and how I got involved with this one was um, I started talking to CBS about doing um, a reimagining or a reboot of the original series and then I had a general meeting with Jordan Peele and Jordan and I just started talking about different things that we loved and different things that were sort of inspirations for us growing up and Twilight Zone was kind of number one or two on the list for both of us and then we started talking about what would happen if we did it together he was obviously somebody whose work I admired greatly, and it was kind of perfect. He suited to doing a modern Twilight Zone. Um, but he was kind of intimidated by it at first, the same way I was, because it's such a big mantle. Be, yeah. yeah. And then, and then we just start. The more we talked about it, the more we felt like we could honor the original series, but do something ourselves original and unique um, and update it and make it feel like a really genuinely contemporary version of Twilight Zone. That's a question I had going into it too because I was like it's a reboot, it's a reimagining. Are you guys going to remake any classic episodes or is it more just like about paying homage and, and moving forward? It's both. Uh, every now and then mm -hmm. we'll do like a pretty fun house mirror spin on an original episode. We would never do just like a karaoke version of an episode. Mm -hmm. But every now and then we'll do um, our take on an original episode. We have one in season one. But for the most part, it's original stories that have allusions to the original series, that tackle some of the same social issues of the original series, but are completely new and different and unique stories. Yeah. We as a society love an Easter egg. Mm -hmm. I noticed a billion yeah. in the show. Can you talk about some of the nods you pay to the original uh, series in the show? Well, I don't want to ruin anything for fans. And yeah. I want to let them like discover <laughs> themselves. There's one we see in the trailer, I will say. We see the gremlin. We see the mystic seer. So. Yes, yes. You're good. You, you know, you've definitely, definitely been studying. You've done, done your homework. homework. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, we wanted this to be a show that obviously uh, kids or teenagers or, I mean, folks really like sort of in their 20s and 30s who didn't grow up watching even the reruns could watch and not necessarily have to know anything about the original series. But the hope is that it can also speak to the people that love the original series and it can get a new generation watching the original series for the first time and discovering what we all know, which is that it's one of the greatest TV shows in history. Um, and so we have lots of allusions, lots of little references, whether they be props, lines sometimes, um, like deep background things in the production design and art design of the show. And then there's a lot of issues that we tackle that we feel like, you know, we tackle in a slightly different way, but Rod was doing it in his own way too. Before I let you go, I gotta say, we have to fight a little bit because I watched the Dark Phoenix trailer and I'm like, he's really gonna kill off my girl Mystique in the freaking trailer. But that then also made me think, what else is gonna happen at this movie if that could be in the trailer? So. I mean, are we gonna lose everybody? <laughs> everybody gonna die? <laughs> not everybody's gonna die. I can promise you that. That's not a spoiler. Um, but you know, the the the, the trailer does indicate uh, what is true for the movie, which is that everyone is at risk in a way that they haven't been um, in all the previous X Men movies, and that they are facing their gravest threat yet because it's someone that they all love. It's one thing when you're going up against an arch villain. It's another thing when that arch villain is like your girlfriend or your daughter or your best friend um, or your comrade. And so, really, the family of the X Men starts to kind of implode because Jean Phoenix um, starts to lose control, and they, the question is like, at what point do you give up on someone that you love, right. even if they start to kill people that you love. Yeah, and I'm sure this is a fluid conversation, but the whole Fox-Disney merger, like, do you know what that means for the future of our X-Men? I don't really, to be totally honest. Um, I do know that when we were making this movie, it was well before, obviously, that the merger uh, was even in the ether, let alone happening. Um, and we approached the movie as a culmination of the X-Men saga, partly because it was now the fourth movie with the X-Men first class cast. Mm -hmm. um, and the Dark Phoenix story is the sort of ultimate X-Men story, if you know the comics and if you talk to the fans. And so we really approached it like it was not the end, but sort of a celebration culmination of 20 years of making these movies. Okay. Speaking of celebration, I'm just going to throw this out there randomly. Am I going to see you at Star Wars Celebration? <laughs> Maybe. I love going to those, okay. and I'm certainly very involved in that world. Yeah, I so. feel like you should maybe come on stage and make some sort of announcement that we weren't expecting. Uh, I don't know about it. I can't speak to that, but 
but definitely um, I like going to celebrations. Okay, I always try yeah, with yeah, you. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs>